I am offended. Oh no, guys. Somebody is offended on the internet. Quickly, somebody phone the police right away. This honestly never happens, so as you guys can probably imagine, this is a big shock to me, and I gotta see what exactly is going on here. It's not like people on the internet to get offended all the time for no reason. Let's see what this very calm and collective gentleman has to say, shall we? That our children are not receiving affordable gender reassignment surgery along with hormone blockers and access to abortions. <laughs> this alone is a threat to our Isn't democracy. There? It like just shows like a dog. that you people do not care about our children and that these, these are the same people who refuse to obey the science and get fully vaccinated. It's science, people! Science! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, honestly, pretty reasonable person. I can't see why people would make fun at something like that. Just your average, typical woke person that's calm, collective. You know, all the, all, all the things that kind of come to mind when you think of woke people, to be honest with you. What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to the Ablaze channel. Today, we're going to be looking at some more woke TikToks. I know that first one's a little bit of a classic, but I wanted to put that in there. After all, it is science, as my guy it tells us it's just so cringy man but i got some pretty good ones today for you guys so let's check them out so i'm not allowed to be out as trans non-binary at school do not come up in my comments saying that i am allowed because i'm not i live in louisiana and it sucks here so of course my response to this is to be as obnoxiously queer as possible so i've got yes because that's what kids need at school isn't it because your sex has to be your whole and entire identity make it that and when they don't let you do it well fight back because that is absolutely absurd it's not like then you get weird scenarios like in canada recently with that one teacher wearing those massive breasts or anything like that should be allowed to do that and if they can't and that's just hate speech or whatever word they like to throw around this time. I just don't necessarily think that school is the right place to really be pushing this kind of stuff. Like I always say in my videos, please do what makes you feel comfortable. It kind of goes without saying, but I just feel like getting upset and mad because you're not allowed to really go out there and parade your sexuality at school. You work at a school with children. Why would you want to do that in the first place? And that goes completely both ways. Even if you are straight, you wouldn't then female teachers just walking up in lingerie or something being like, I'm proud to be straight. Because that would be weird as well. You kind of leave that stuff at home when you're teaching children. I don't think it's really that acceptable to be bringing it in. And now that they're throwing a massive tantrum about it, it's literally beyond me. It's disgusting. But yes, please put every single color in the rainbow in your hair. That will really show us. <laughs> my rainbow hair with leopard print. I've got my rainbow glasses. Sometimes I wear pins too with various rainbow things on them. I don't have any today. I just have my COVID sticker. I wear things that do not match at all. Basically my goal is to look like a unicorn threw me up. If I can't do that, what's the point yeah guys really what what is the point of life you're not looking like a unicorn that's just puked everywhere why even live what like, what's what's the point <laughs> some of the, like the rebellious points that they make in some of these videos are just so strange to me like uh, do, do you think you're winning the argument by dressing that way because in my eyes that's still a little bit inappropriate hell when i went to school even when i got my ears pierced i wasn't allowed to wear jewelry this person literally looks like if the nickelodeon slime was a person just walking around teaching children like that surely it's not distracting whatsoever for the kids i don't know making your whole sexuality your whole identity is just completely crazy to me but then what do i know i i I don't do that and I actually try and live life to the fullest by having good experiences and having fun. So <laughs> what, what do I know at the end of the day? They probably never even heard of the word fun. They've only heard of the word offended. It's probably the first word they spoke when they were a baby. Come on quick, he's gonna say his first word, come on. <laughs> I'm offended. Oh, there's my little Gen Z. So apparently I've been living under a rock for the past few years because there's a thing called a pe Pride flag. Wait, so this what the right heck? here is the flag. The technical term of this flag is MAP, which stands for Minor Attracted Persons. Now, the fact that this Sick. flag even exists is disgusting in itself, but wow. once I actually look at this flag and look at the colors, it disgusts me even more. So here's a breakdown of what the colors mean on the flag. 
The top two stripes are blue to represent attraction to young boys. The bottom two stripes are pink to represent attraction to young it's girls. The, the inner yellow stripes are to represent childhood and general attraction to minors regardless of their gender. And the middle stripe is white to represent innocence and unwillingness to offend. No. How disgusting. Not okay. I like how I actually watch videos like this and there will actually be people in the comments trying to somewhat even slightly defend this kind of behavior. I think it is absolutely disgusting. You know, these types of arguments literally have no feet to even stand on. And it really is as simple as a black and white when it comes to this stuff, surely. No beating around the bush saying, well, no, it's it's kind of okay if you look at it like, no, no, not, not at all. The fact that they actually had their own flag is absolutely insane to me. And people are like, you can't help who you love. Yeah, but, but bro, if you're making a flag about that type of thing and you're proud about that as well and you want to wave that around, then I just think that goes to show exactly how broken the world is as of late. The fact that we're even just discussing this as a prior 10 years ago, this would never have happened, bro. Having a whole flag dedicated for that. Just think about that for a second and how people actually find it completely okay now. You know, there is being accepting of certain people, but there's also just crossing that line entirely. When it comes to stuff like this, that definitely is not okay. Hi, my name is Tempest. I'm a member of a DID system and several people have asked I can't how escape to use them, the Neo pronouns that I use. So here's a quick guide. So I use they, them pronouns, but primarily I use Z, them, themself. Now, this is a little bit different from the other Z pronoun, which is Z, zer, zer self. So the Z that I use is more related to he, him. I'm agender. I don't really have any kind of gender identity, but I have a masculine body in her world and I'm more masculine leaning in terms of like self-expression and compliments that I like, things like that. And like Cameron and Avery in our system, the not having a gender thing for me specifically is related to the fact that I shapeshift into a bird. So the other birds also use neo pronouns because they don't connect to gender in a human way. Specifically, they don't connect to not having a gender in the same way that a human would connect to not having a gender. So it's not just the fact that we're non-binary, it's the fact that we're not entirely oh, human. Oh, this is dumb. <laughs> I like how I just generally, <laughs> I wasted a minute of my life, bro. I I'm losing brain cells while watching this. At the end of this video, I'm just gonna be a pile of goo on the floor, barely capable of muttering any words, let alone my first words, I'm offended. <laughs> we basically just watched a video about a person that says they shapeshift into a bird. What? <laughs> bro, what kind of trauma did you go through? Not only did you change gender, bro, but you then changed, you changed team. <laughs> I shapeshifted into a bird. Were drugs involved when you shapeshifted into a bird? Uh, bro, there's no way you're telling me drugs were not involved. I just love that there actually is a whole community on TikTok and Reddit at this point to do with this kind of stuff, bro. And they post this absolute nonsense. And people like love it. They're like, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Definitely. Oh, I shapeshift into many animals myself. It's like the, the trauma actually dedicated for that to happen. It's like... Bro, bro, it's so extreme. I've only seen one case of that where it was actually documented and that was like the one girl that I'm pretty sure it was like the mother had like 18 kids or something. Didn't take care of the children whatsoever. And one of the kids literally grew up on a farm with these people, but the mom didn't even let the kids into the house. That's how bad their childhood was. And she ended up sleeping outside with the dogs. So she generally got it like a dog old. But like, bro, she, she couldn't speak. It's not like she just suddenly, when there was like a full moon, just <laughs> transform into like a dog and that was that. It, it was like, she literally thought she was a straight up a dog. She was running around on all fours. And this is like before the time of TikTok or like even Vine. I'm pretty sure even before YouTube. So th this was like, not for clout or anything like that. It just kind of goes to show the kind of trauma that you, you generally have to go through to actually, I don't want to say achieve because it makes it sound like it's a good thing, but you actually have that, you know what I mean? Bro, like, what's the worst thing that happened to these kids, bro? Like, what, their, like, parents took away their fucking iPhone for a night? <laughs> oh my god, you guys won't understand the trauma I'm going through. She took away my iPhone Pro. Yes. Wow, that's, that's, so, that's trauma for you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna assume your gender. It's <laughs> ugly. Just so, I can imagine the ugly things that go through your mind and the thoughts. I, I wouldn't want to live in your head for one minute. Vice versa. Very ugly. <laughs>
Do you go to work like that? Chad, how insensitive of you to think that I yeah. work. Oh, I... <laughs> I mean, really, you I am a disabled American and you think I can get up and go to work? I don't have that privilege. Privilege. I want all of you to know the all of you that get up in the morning to an alarm clock and you guys have the privilege to actually get up and take a shower and get in your car and go to work. Do you have any idea what a privilege that is? It, do you guys do you, do you even for one second understand the privilege you have that you guys can't sit there at home and just live off benefits and that you have to get up in the morning and work <sighs> you guys are lucky <laughs> like wait what it's kind of just funny to me because watching this and that's the thing that they got offended about like how dare you assume i what these are literally the type of people that you can't even have conversations with like what would even be the point you know like just a general small talk conversation oh like what do you do for work do oh, <sighs> you think i work well that is ah, honey we've got to go we've got to leave he just assumed my job <laughs> like wait what that is like the level that we are now getting offended at. If you ask if you just work for a, like, do you work? <laughs> you can just say no, bro. Why are you getting offended about that? Any idea, really? And then you're going to sit here and say, I bet you don't even have a job. Well, of course I don't. I'm disabled. And really, and how insensitive of you to point that out. And you actually, you come here and you, I mean, this is rich. You actually come to a disabled woman's live feed and yet you, you mention employment and work excuse me i don't have the privilege of waking up to an alarm clock the at 4 a.m and driving to los angeles and working a shift and then coming home i don't have that luxury of earning my own money you make me sick <laughs> it's just such a pitiful video watching that hey it's like okay say if off the worst case is they actually are disabled which you know judging by the amount of videos we make now on this type of stuff who really knows at this point right well some people class as disabled nowadays is literally insane but that's a whole nother video but let's say that they don't i don't think that's necessarily an inappropriate question to ask do you work and the fact that they get so upset in that video and are like that is disgusting i cannot believe you asked if i actually work of course i don't <laughs> like it's obvious as well bro like people get very like weird about certain things i remember i had this one teacher that like this other kid in the class writ the teacher's name but instead of doing like a missus because she was married because she didn't know the teacher generally got so upset that then she gave her an after school detention for not realizing she was married like bro like let just that let that sink in for a second we are literally having to now have to be psychic for some of this stuff people when they use their pronouns they'll change them every like five minutes some people and if you don't keep up to date to it bro they get like actually upset and this person here do you work I, there's a reasonable question that's not nasty or anything but i'm assuming some of the comments you get and that was the one you picked to get upset about seems very strange to me and then yeah also my teacher right like what what <laughs> bro how, I, like i don't know bro i don't like fucking keep up to date with your life i don't know if you're married it's like she almost got that as an insult like <laughs> what do you think i'm i'm i'm, I'm unmarriable Detention! Could have fooled me, bro. Holy shit. She was unmarriable. <laughs> Is she more manly than me? The way, why we got kind of the same haircut, bro? Guys, I'm terrified. She'd be more manly than me. It's so funny to me as well when I just see these protests, right? If you want people to actually maybe change their mind on stuff and come onto your team and start thinking the way you think, do, do you honestly think the best way to start an argument is just to go, <laughs> like, just, just to scream? Like, what, like, what reasonable person is gonna look at that and go, oh, wait, wait. Oh no, they actually might have something good to say here. <laughs> like, bro, you've like completely annihilated any chance straight from the get-go for me to look at you as a reasonable person and actually take you serious whatsoever. I see so many videos on this as well. They'll like come up to like a lecture or maybe a public speaker and they'll just burst through the doors, scream around, make no good points. And the person doing the speaking will actually try and engage in conversation with them. And they, they have nothing. They literally have nothing. And they'll start screaming things like bigot, racist, and then just walk out like that just wins the art oh holy shit i just got yeah i might as well just leave i got destroyed they have no desire to even listen to the other party or engage in any sort of debate whatsoever 
They just scream. But there you go. Some of the woke people recently on TikTok. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It also helps spread this video around. If you do leave a like and comment, it helps the algorithm and Papa Blaze appreciates it very much. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day anyway, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.